All together, one voice. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. And again, one heart. Hare. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. A few days ago, I was sitting on the banks of the sacred Ganges River in Rishikesh, India, where we had our Rishikesh Kirtan Fest for 21 days. And now I'm sitting on the shores of the Indian Ocean at the southernmost tip of the African continent at, uh, in the Republic of South Africa uh, for our 36th annual uh, Ratha Yatra festival. And sitting here, many emotions are coming from my heart, many memories are coming, uh, especially with the very first one we did in 1988. Uh, at that time, if I remember correctly, I was temple president for a while, and uh, we got the idea to uh, do Ratha Yatra here in South Africa. We understood that how dear it was to Srila Prabhupada. Uh, we were remembering how my dear godbrother Jayananda Prabhu received so much mercy from Srila Prabhupada for organizing Ratha Yatra in the beginning in America. And knowing how dear it was to Srila Prabhupada actually from his youth as a means to spread Christian conscience all over the world, we decided to do it here in Durban, South Africa. Um, it was a challenge because at that time there was apartheid, apartheid here in South Africa, a segregation in, in many terrible ways of the various uh, ethnic groups in this country. Uh, South Africa was actually infamous for that. But we wanted to do a festival where we could bring all the ethnic groups together under one banner, under one spiritual banner, because that's our understanding of how there can be peace in the world. Although there's many different nationalities and languages and peoples and traditions and customs around the world, um, actually, in the ultimate sense, we're all, all part of one spiritual family. I've many times said that in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says that he's the seed-giving father of all living entities, every created being. So if we all have the same father, we're ultimately brothers and sisters. And that's actually the real platform for having peace. Of course, diversity is also nice. They say variety is the spice of life. So we can appreciate many different cultures and the peoples in those cultures, but ultimately we have to understand we're all part of the greater family of God. We're all God's children. So we thought to demonstrate that because there's the philosophy, there's the theory, and then there's the practice. So Krishna consciousness is meant to show the practice, how people can live together peacefully. And in, in a peaceful environment, uh, achieve the real goal of life, which is Krishna consciousness, love of God. So 
that was our challenge, how to do it here where, you know, apartheid was causing so much division in society, almost on the, almost to the point of civil war. So in our humble way, we we're going to make the attempt. It was a bold attempt. I was remembering how Prabhupada said one time that his only fault, quote unquote, was that he was always thinking big and engaging us in big projects to spread the Krishna conscious movement from its inception. So Rathi Yatra was part of Prabhupada's plan. So to make a long story short, we devised a plan that we would approach the city hall, the city, city administration. So I went in myself because I was the only white boy in the team that was planning Rathi Yatra. There was Shaimlal, my dear godmother from uh, India. There was Sri Hari, uh, a local Indian devotee here in South Africa, and Yamuna Charya wealthy businessman at that time. He was also Indian. So I went in as the, as the white man and I told the city council I wanted to do a, a little festival for my friends on the beachfront. And we were going to pull a little wagon. We we're going to have some children there, some balloons, and we we're going to distribute some delicious uh, vegetarian food. So they thought it was a little odd. They said, how big? I said, this big. <laughs> anyway, we managed to charm them and somehow they agreed and they gave us a place called the Bay of Plenty, a beautiful uh, garden area just off the beachfront. I'm sitting, well, 30 meters away. We're doing it here again. Hare Krishna, so they... Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. I come to the festival here in Durban every year. Uh, it's just a very enlightening time. And uh, people come with good high spirits and there's a lot of good energy in the form of philosophy, in the form of singing, dancing, a kind of partying. The food is great. And I think the interaction amongst all the people, the relationship building is of paramount importance. So I come every year. Uh, to be, participate in that and also to put on drama presentations uh, based on the Vedic reality, morality theater, you can call it. So I'm enjoying it. I love it every year. Gets better every year. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So it's my first time performing at the Festival of Chariots Durban and it's been incredible. You know, I've been a part of ISKCON for just over a year and I've been wanting to be of service more and I didn't know how and I think in my heart I wanted to sing for Krishna and Krishna almost made it happen immediately. So um, it's been humbling. I think the best thing has just been the kindness of the devotees. It's been welcoming. I feel like I've made family. So I hope to come back. Um, very excited. I think the biggest gift I'm taking away are the relationships I've made. And yeah, to those devotees, thank you so much. You made me feel at home. And I can't wait to be back. Hare Krishna.
Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. I come here because this is one of the first festivals that encouraged me to become a devotee. So much is on offer here. Uh, plenty to hear from the spiritual discussions. There is uh, a large community of people who attend this festival and it is what Srila Prabhupada wanted to distribute on mass the holy name, prasadam, the association of the deities. So it's also an annual get together. We get to meet our friends who we may not see throughout the year and we come and gather to worship the Lord in the streets of Durban. So from the time I was a little girl, I've been a part of this festival in, in various levels and doing so much. But one memory that stands out for me so authentically is that I used to be seated on the Lord Jagannath's chariot. As a little girl, I clearly remember donning a sari. It used to be bright, hot days like this. And my parents would dress me up all beautifully in a traditional Indian sari with gopi dots, the surbandi, and the entire attire. I'd climb up the ladder of the chariot and be seated with Lord Jagannath and being pulled through the streets of Durban. So today, all those decades later, I'm back here pulling on the ropes of Lord Jagannath's chariot and that for me is so immensely special. It just shows the love that we have for this festival and that personal connection that I will always carry with me in my heart. Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare and again, one heart, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And again, Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. I've been involved with this festival more or less since the inception. Indra Jumana Marge was the organizer, but I was there. And since then, you know, like 30 something years, I think I've, I've been at every festival. And for me personally, it's a very deep experience uh, on one level seeing the mercy of Jagannath Baladeva and Subhadra Devi, how kind they are and how they accept kind of uncomfortable and awkward situations out of their kindness to make themselves available to ourselves as devotees and the conditioned souls. So that's, that's a very important thing to me. And then in a, a similar but, but somewhat different sense. Um, personally, I feel very happy when I see so many people coming and really getting something out of the festival. Uh, getting like an experience they, they, in many cases, they've never had before. Even some of them come and tell me actually as I'm moving around the festival or sitting somewhere that they, they come and tell me that this is just something new and something very elevated for them as an experience. So when I see that, then I feel very satisfied because I know 
that the devotees have put, done all the work, putting everything together hands on, they've really worked hard, extremely hard, to make Krishna consciousness accessible to people. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Ram Rama Hare Hare I feel blessed I feel honored it's a great privilege to be here you know, associate with so many wonderful devotees and connect, you know, it's, it's always very nice and it's very inspiring. This is why I always come, you know, because right now in Maputo where I am, I don't basically, I don't have Sangha, you know, so I always come to recharge my batteries, my, my Bhakti battery, you know. So, yes, I'm really grateful to be here. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama it, I can't even explain it to you it's something that you personally would have to feel because I can't put the feeling of an energy into words I, I don't have the poetic capabilities so my only advice for someone who truly wants to experience the festival is to volunteer your services in something that you enjoy whether it's speaking or serving others in different ways whether it's at like the gift tent or my personal belief is everybody should at least once go and serve at the food for life tent and when you experience what it's like to dish a hot plate of food for somebody who's been hungry for who knows how long, it really, it changes something in you as a person, I feel. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna 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 Hare so for me personally, it's a, it holds a very special place in my heart because um, I actually got inspired at this festival itself. Although I was raised in Krishna consciousness, it was at this very festival when the final kirtan was happening on the stage and when the person who then became my spiritual master was singing and it touched the core of my heart. So I'm sure others would have similar experiences as well where they feel this connection and that seed of devotion will be awakened in their hearts and their spiritual journeys will begin as well. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, 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 Rama,
Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. I knew it was going to cause some problems because it was like a white lie on behalf of Krishna. And, um, well, what we did is we collected a lot of funds, we rented a lot of ma massive tents, uh, we built a huge chariot, typical b big Rathayatra chariot, um, cooked up a lot of uh, prasadam. Even the devotees were wondering what we were doing because I didn't want to tell too many devotees so that the word would get out and the city officials would hear. So a team of about 20 devotees, we came down at midnight, we had the cart uh, pulled by truck from a secret location where we were building it. And then the last two kilometers, we pulled it by ropes here. No one could see it. It was two o'clock in the morning. Put it on the festival site. Somehow we managed to put up all these massive tents and this big stage and lots of hundreds and hundreds of chairs, etc. And um, yeah, so. Devotees were told that they woke up in the morning and were going to have a Rathi Yatra parade. They also thought it would be small time. They started filtering down. But the best publicity we've heard, the best advertising is by word of mouth. So very quickly, somehow by Krishna's mercy, it spread around town. There's a big nice festival going on on the Durban beachfront. It was on a Saturday morning. Word spread quickly because in those days word spread quickly, the good news or the bad news in South Africa. So it spread quickly and suddenly at around 10 o'clock in the morning when we were uh, meant to have the festival, started getting out on the radio, newspaper, early morning radio, caught wind of it, it was there. So um, because the word got out that the parade was going to start around 10 o'clock, the um, municipality sent six police officers down on motorcycles to check it out with the idea that it was too big you have to stop it so the problem was for them that it was getting so big that it was hard to manage all these peoples different ethnic groups the white population the black africans whatever the different ethnic groups were word spread out it's an open festival so by the time the police got here it was like a big crowd and really anxious and they didn't, police didn't know what we're going to do. We're going to, you're going to pull that cart? I said, yes. And so rather than report back that, you know, we have to stop it, it was too big to stop. So what the police did, the six police officers and their motorcycles, they went to the front of the parade. <laughs> and we gathered the ropes, all the peoples, and started pulling and the balloons were there and the kirtan was there and the amplification was there. And Krishna tricked them because the police officers, they headed up the parade just to make sure it didn't get out of control. That's the best they could do to, to, to maintain it, that it didn't get out of control. They were supposed to stop it, but it was too big, but they ended up leading the parade. This was one of the miracles of Krishna consciousness. Devotees know that by the mercy of the Lord, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, many miracles are happening because of the Sankirtan movement. Miracle means something which contradicts the laws of nature. So in so many situations, people become interested in our movement. We're given permissions for this and permissions for that. And so much positive change is going on in the world, spiritual change because of Lord Chaitanya's Sankirtan Bhuva. We could talk about that for hours. Anyway, it was a huge success. So successful that next year, because, you know, apartheid was something very sinister and there were those who were for it and there were many South Africans who were against it, of course. There's a whole history about that. But somehow that festival, because it brought together these different ethnic groups, the Zulu nation came, the white, white uh, people came, the coloreds came. Somehow it was a festival everyone was enjoying. The word got out. So next year when we I humbly went to the same municipality. They said, sure, go ahead. <laughs> this is this one time Prabhupada said, one day historians will note how this Sankatan movement saved the world in its darkest hour. Now, that was a dark period, but we added much light and joy and happiness. And we gave hope to the people of South Africa. 
And of course, this is not a, pro a problem which is just here in South Africa, it's all over the world. People are fighting over so many things, this country, that country, these peoples, that language, etc., etc. So we showed in a minuscule way how it's possible to bring people together to enjoy on the spiritual platform. And it was interesting because it was put on by, you know, a crew of devotees, ethnic crew of devotees, but it's really not an Indian movement. Some people initially perceived it as an Indian movement, but this is not an Indian movement. It may have appeared in India, but this is a movement from the spiritual sky. As Narottam Das Thakur says, Guluk Prem Don Harinam Shan Kirtan. This movement has come to the material world. It remains a spiritual movement. It's meant to take us back home, back to Godhead. So we spread the message. And therefore, for the last 36 years, the city council has very eagerly given us permission to do this festival. So here we are, again, on the Durban beachfront. And you'll see in this video how much people of this city and people of this country are enjoying this Rathayatra festival. So it should continue. It should continue here. It should continue all over the world because Prabhupada saw it as a very wonderful way of spreading the message of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Lord Krishna's teachings in Bhagavad Gita. All glories to Sri Prabhupada who had the vision to save the world in its darkest hour. Jagannath Swami Ki, Lady Subhadra Ki, Lord Balaram Ki, Shirati Yatra Maha Mahotsava, Durban Beachfront 2024. Hare Krishna. Let's all sing together one voice. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Krishna, 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 Hare Hare.